Until recently, all automotive belt drives had two things in common. One or more belts that transfer engine power to various accessories and a device to maintain the correct tension on the belt. Correct belt tension is critical for long belt and bearing life low noise, and the efficient transmission of power from the crankshaft. While belt tensioning systems are still critical components on most cars, a new self-tensioning V-rib belt technology was introduced to the OE market several years ago on some two to four point drives. These self-tensioning belts do not need a separate tensioning device. In fact, they are designed to stretch slightly over the pulleys during installation and then automatically adjust to the correct tension needed for the application. Gates Micro-V stretch fit belts were engineered to do just that. Gates has been manufacturing these patented stretch fit belts for the OEM market for several years. Now, Gates is the first manufacturer to make self-tensioning belts available in the aftermarket. Here's what you need to know about this new belt technology. Stretch fit belts are made from highly engineered EPDM elastomer. They have aramid fiber reinforcement and a patented tensile cord. They look just like standard Micro-V belts, but they are not interchangeable. Because they are designed to stretch slightly during installation, they are sized shorter than the standard V-rib belts. Stretch foot belts require special installation tools available now from your gate servicing supplier. Finally, if the vehicle has a self-tensioning belt on the drive, it must be replaced with a self-tensioning belt. Of course, a good indication that a stretch fit belt is needed is that the drive does not have a tensioner. Check your current catalog or your online parts lookup for the appropriate applications. Let's take a look at the correct installation procedures of these new belts. Installation instructions are printed on the inside of each stretch fit belt sleeve. It is very important that the instructions are followed correctly to avoid damaging the belt. Each application can have a slightly different set of instructions, so be sure you look at the inside of the sleeve each time you replace a stretch fit belt. Here are the installation instructions for the Ford Escape. Always start any installation by turning off the vehicle and disconnecting the negative battery cable for safety reasons. To begin, cut off the old V-rib belt. Place a new stretch fit belt around the drive, making sure the ribs are aligned in the pulley grooves properly. Put a zip tie three millimeters in width through one of the holes of the pulley and around the belt. Pull the zip tie snug, this will keep the belt in place. Next, Rotate the crankshaft using a socket wrench until the belt slides easily on the pulley. This should only take about a half turn before the belt slides on the pulley. Make sure the belt is aligned in the grooves of the pulley. To complete the installation, cut the zip tie off with a pair of side cutters. Remember that stretch fit belts do not need tensioning. The belt will tension itself on the drive. Reconnect the battery cable and the installation is complete. Here are the installation instructions for Chevy CK Series vehicles. Always start any installation by turning off the vehicle and disconnecting the negative battery cable for safety reasons. The installation on the CK Series is slightly different than most because the drive can have two V-rib belts. The outer accessory drive is what you're familiar with as a regular tension V-rib belt. The stretch fit belt is on the air conditioning accessory drive. While you are replacing the stretch fit belt, this is a good time to replace both belts. Let's now walk through the installation procedure. In order to get to the stretch fit belt, you'll have to remove the outer accessory dry belt. Begin by cutting off the old self-tensioning belt. Now place the new stretch fit belt around the AC drive. Make sure the ribs are aligned in the pulley grooves properly. Next. Place the gate stretch fit mounting tool against the crankshaft pulley with the lip over the outside edge of the pulley. If you do not have the mounting tool, do not use a screwdriver or other tool to pry the belt on the drive. It will damage the belt and make the belt unusable. The mounting tool is available through your servicing parts store as part number 91030. It is reusable, so you do not have to purchase one for each installation. 
Now, rotate the crankshaft as you guide the belt around the pulley by allowing it to slide over the lip of the installation tool. Check to be sure the belt is aligned in the pulley grooves properly. Finish by installing the new standard accessory drive belt. Reconnect the battery cable and the installation is now complete. If you need further assistance with installation, you may call Gates Tech Line at area code 303-744-5651. This video can also be found at Gates website www.gates.com slash stretchfit. Gates continues to be the leader in automotive aftermarket by providing the most highly advanced belts found in the marketplace.